So how are you feeling now? You know, you've had some distance from filming this season. How are you? And, and now you have to watch it back. So how, kind of how are you feeling? It's kind of a roller coaster of emotions because as soon as you kind of like heal from some of the heartbreak you went through and some of the intensity of it, I now get to like relive it. <laughs> and so my hope is that this second time around, knowing what happens, I feel like I can handle it better. Yeah. But it'll be interesting to kind of watch it back. Yeah. I mean, are you worried about watching it back? Are you afraid? Are there some parts you're afraid of watching? I mean, the heartbreak moments are, I think are going to be the hardest, mm -hmm. you know, those just hurt. But in terms of the season as a whole, I I'm actually mostly excited to watch it and probably learn some things about myself. That I didn't know, see stuff that happened in the house. that I had no idea happened. And, you know, I'm kind of joining Bachelor Nation in this whole journey from start to finish. Yeah. I know you can't necessarily tell us if you have someone you'll be watching it with, but you know, if that were the case, what would, you, are there parts you'd be worried about? Are there, have you had to have any hard, hard conversations with anyone maybe? I mean, single or engaged, I would be watching this alone. I can't watch it with my family or friends, seeing myself make out with these guys. Like I just need to be alone and embrace it and, and process it by myself. Have you warned your parents or your family about anything? I mean, they, they know who I am. I'm, I am me because of who they are, you know, like, so we're all very open and comfortable. And if anything, my parents should be worried about <laughs> hometowns and how maybe open they were as well. Yeah. I mean, you did show up last season with a vibrator. So like, can't really get much more uh, <laughs> open than that, I guess. Yeah. So how would you kind of describe what people are about to see? It looked pretty dramatic from the promos that we've seen. You know, I think it's going to be refreshing. I think people are going to see some conversations that haven't happened before. I think there's going to be some highlighted bromance, which everyone loves watching the friendships form. And unfortunately, we kind of missed out on that before. And you're going to see multiple love stories. And I'm just really excited for people to get to know the guys because it's really a great group. Would you say you fall in love with more than one person? Yes, without hesitation. So how hard is that? I mean, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> like you say at the beginning, you're like, I've never dated 30 guys before. And I'm like, well, no, most people haven't. So I mean, I can't, and most people don't fall in love with multiple people at the same time. So like, what was that like? How hard was it? Yeah, you know, I think for me, the biggest thing I learned is there are different variations of love, you know, and while maybe someone I was in love with in that moment, or as a boyfriend, potentially, mm -hmm. I'm looking for that lifelong love. And ultimately, you have to figure out who that one person is, the one. Yeah. So you said there are some conversations we haven't had before on the show. Can you kind of give a tease of what that's like? And or, you know, what what we're talking about this season? Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest one and the most obvious one are conversations around sex, you mm -hmm. know, whether they're humorous conversations, important conversations, sex is a theme, you know, during the season. And I'm excited for people to start feeling comfortable talking about it and starting those conversations. Did you have any conversations um, with Caitlin about that? Because obviously that was a big part of her season and it was like treated kind of not great then. And I feel like even just in the past few years, the show has kind of made some strides and like treating sex a little bit less like a crime you know did you talk to her about that at all yeah I mean she was there from start to finish to give me advice and you know the one thing that her and I both agreed on is um we are in 2021 so people are starting to be a little bit more open and, and a little more comfortable mm -hmm. um but there are still people who view it like you said as a crime a stigma taboo um and so again I'm just kind of reinserting that back into the conversation and on the screens and hoping people start those conversations I give up. I don't mind a cat in the screen, okay? <laughs> you can keep them there. All right, I can say. Um, so, now I've forgotten what I was going to ask because she distracted <laughs> me. Um, yeah, what's your cat's name? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. And if I was doing an interview at home, he always jumps on my lap and, and tries to get in, on screen. Yeah, too, she's so. just like, I have to be in this. I, it's, it's my attention time. So, Divas. Yeah. So, what... Can, can you tease some of the kind of harder moments of the season and the, the moments you're not so looking forward to rewatching? Um, yeah, I mean, I think obviously heartbreak. I think that's probably the biggest one that stands out to me in terms of um, reliving those moments. 
Um, but then there's also conversations, you know, around my dad who passed away. Mm-hmm. Um, that is going to be hard to, to relive as well. Um, but, you know, overall, I think all these conversations are important, you know, and that's what this whole journey is about is time is short. You got to have the hard conversations early and, and see if you can find your match. Was there anything you were really like having just gone through this that you were kind of ready to help the guys with or ready to be like, I understand how this is and I'm going to try to make it easier for you. I think the biggest thing I wanted to do that felt different from my time on the show is I wanted them to feel um, valued. I wanted them to feel that they stood a chance, you know? And so I remained open to every single guy, every single conversation. I never closed myself off to anybody. And because of that, we really built this strong bond of this like safe group to talk about things and be vulnerable. And, you know, people talk about the guys crying and it's like, yeah, but we were in a safe space to be vulnerable because it's okay to cry. And I just, I really enjoyed getting to know them. Finally, kind of how would you describe this season as a whole? Maybe can you compare it to any other seasons that we've seen before? Oh, you can't. It's completely different and unexpected um, and fun and, and different and crazy. I, you can't compare it. It's, it's one of a kind as any, anyone else's journey probably is, but I'm hoping that this is a refreshing uh, season for people to watch with a lot of you know, humor and love and, and friendships that are being formed. And are you happy now? I will say everything happens for a reason. And yeah, I'm very happy. Cool. Well, it was delightful to talk to you. A, a delightful premiere to watch. I am very excited to get to know all these guys a little more and get to know you a little more too. As you know, I feel like we got a very out, outspoken version of you the math season, but I feel like we're about to get to know a little more vulnerable players, perhaps. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> well, 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 I have to. Oh, sorry. Someone, <laughs> someone needs my attention. <laughs> Lovely to talk to you. Yes, you both as well. <laughs> Bye.